Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching. The channel's called Ratchet. My name's Andrew, and on this episode, I give you a detailed how-to guide on fitting Tornado's newly released handbrake caliper kit. Run the title. Welcome to the channel if you're new. If you're not, thank you for tuning back in for yet another episode. Like I've said, this one, I'm gonna be fitting some new goodies to the car. Tornado have come out with a new handbrake caliper kit that I'm going to be fitting to the back of the car, which I'm really looking forward to. Now the kit comes supplied with absolutely everything you could possibly need, right down to the last nut, bolt and washer. In the UK, we have a yearly MOT test, a road worthiness test um, that needs to be carried out, basically a, an inspection. And although cars can get through, on uh, the Willwood calipers that many of these cars do run. The handbrake is always uh, a, a slight point of worry. Now this new kit that Tornado has developed uses a completely separate hydromechanical caliper made by Willwood. So they have made their own bracket, etc., etc., to allow fitment onto the Tornado rear hubs. So it basically, removes the use of the integral handbrake within the four pot wheelwood caliper and transfer the job over to a completely separate caliper which will work far more efficiently so as always you can follow me on the usual social medias instagram here please leave a comment below always enjoy what you have to say about the project please subscribe also you know it, it it's just good to see the channel growing and, and more and more interaction with everyone that's watching these videos. Up there is the playlist for all of the previously released videos. That's the usual, let's get on with the video. So I've got the rear of the car jacked up, got it sat on some axle stands, and then removed the center lock spinner. Getting my impact gun, I removed the center lock adapter. The basic plan is to strip down the rear hub assembly so you can get access to two of the four bolts that are situated in the back side of the rear upright. So here I am just removing the caliper and disc, then using a small drift to open up the locking tab and then removing the main hub nut again. It's very handy having a, an impact gun to rattle that off. With the hub nut removed, the two halves separate nice and easily. Now this gives you full access to the bolts necessary in order to install the new handbrake caliper bracket. Loosening off the two existing bolts at the front of the hub assembly, and this basically concludes all of the disassembly necessary on the car. And here's the kit itself for one side. You can see the Willwood caliper that I've mentioned previously, the bracketry supplied by Tornado, and all of the nuts, bolts, ferrules, and everything necessary to install this kit. Using the two new longer bolts supplied within the kit, those push through from the back side, plate then goes on the front face, and then the new washers and nylock bolts are done up to get everything nice and tight in place. Putting the hub assembly back together, again, really nice and straightforward. The inner cup and the outer hub just marry up nicely. Getting the hub nut done up loosely before getting the impact gun on it just to tighten the nut up to where it was previously done. And that basically takes care of all of the major reassembly. Now, because the old handbrake system in the four pot caliper is no longer being used, it leaves you with some redundant mechanism that I wanted to remove. Now, if you have bought your calipers new and they are yet to be fitted, now is an excellent time to get those removed. Now, because my calipers have been through several thousand heat cycles, the small little bolts that hold these mechanisms to the caliper were welded into place. So the only thing that I could do was actually split these calipers in half, which then gave me better access to these small Allen head bolts, which had rounded off nicely, um, to then drift in a slightly larger Torx bit and actually remove those from the calipers. 
With the old handbrake mechanism removed from the caliper, it was time to get it back on the car, get my centre lock adapter, torque back into place, and things are really starting to shape up now. And finally, onto the fitting of the handbrake caliper. Now, everything, as you'd expect, lined through perfectly. Using the bolts and washers supplied by Tornado, the handbrake caliper bolted up an absolute dream. Now, I hope I've made this kit look as easy to install as it actually was. Everything fits perfectly, as you would hope. All of the necessary hardware has been provided, so it makes it so nice and straightforward. Now, the only thing that I still need to do is actually connect the handbrake cable to the actual caliper. And again, Tornado provides everything you need to carry out this final stage of the installation. They provide a custom turned up ferrule that fits into the underside of the caliper. The handbrake cable then runs through there, gets pinched up with, again, another supply of ferrule that locates in the top part of the caliper. Now, the only reason I'm not quite ready to get this done is because I've panelled out the back end of the chassis, it's making the routing of these handbrake cables a little bit more tricky. So I need to get my thinking cap on about how I can nicely do that. So if you've not panelled out the back of your chassis, then the cables will route so easily through the voids in the chassis that the connection and the routing would be really straightforward. So I think that just about wraps up this episode. I hope it has been of interest and certainly of some benefit should you have this kit or looking to in fact place an order for this kit. I can't rate the quality highly enough and the service provided by Tornado in getting these parts out to me. Below, I'll put all of the information necessary to get in contact with Tornado about placing an order should you wish to do so. Now, coming up in the next episode, I think I'm going to get onto the final part of the chassis work that I want to carry out. And that's actually stopping me fitting the engine and gearbox and everything else that's involved in finishing the car off, really. So it's something that I'm really looking forward to getting into. It's going to be a head scratcher. So make sure you stay tuned for that one. So up until then, I will catch you next time.